I know where there's some, right here in the hall clerk. No, no, my I have a This particular radio is a uh, Royal D7000Y Transoceanic, and I can't read a name. Looks like it, somebody tried to erase it, but it does, in fact, come from the state of Oregon, which is where I am right now. So he didn't get it in Mexico. I got it in Oregon. Cool. Uh, but it was obviously sitting. Someplace dank. These these screws are all rusted away. Not rusted away, just badly corroded. Might have gotten in some water at some point. Who knows? Um, the uh, leatherette on the sides. I guess it might be leather. I don't know whether it's leather or not. I doubt it. Malgahide uh, looks good. The band switch rotates fully. It's full range. This side looks pretty good too. Um, just this disaster of a of a back. These screws aren't badly rusted, so maybe there's hope for this. That one is. Ah, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what's inside here. Um, as soon as I figure out how to take it apart. Also on the underside of the chassis, all kinds of tags. Most of them are illegible. <laughs> Labels, I should say. Yeah, model number. Can't really read any of that. Um, can't read that. I can read 6187 on that UL tag. And uh, caution, do not open cabinet contains user service, does not contain user service information. I bet it does not. But that's where we'll start. Let me get a towel down here so I don't... Scar this any worse than it is. The towel is as disreputable looking as the radio at this point. Okay, I think the first step is to take this this back cover off, and it looks like there there are three Phillips screws. Let's see anything else here. We'll take these off and see what shows itself. We have some wires we need to. There's material in here, which usually indicates a rodent. But we have some wires we need to take loose first. There's a, 
a jack here. It says tuner on the case. That's got a bundle of wires going to it. There's a green wire going up to the antenna up here. And looks like an audio transformer on this back wall right here. I'll have to figure out how to disconnect or unmount. Oh, I see there's a plug right there. Great. Oh, handy. There's a plug right there. Somebody was thinking when they designed this. If I can get it out of there. Very good. And finally, there is this green screw that goes to the antenna. It's an interesting looking creature. Has built a nest up in there. Wherever this was, it wasn't uh, the greatest place in the world to store electronic equipment. And that's loose. All right, here's the inside. There's the uh, interesting nest I see. Probably an old spider's nest. The screws keep falling out here and there. Okay. And now you can see, it looks like uh, sawdust from a wood shop, actually. This looks like it was kept in a, near a, a saw and got mightily sprayed. Hmm. Okay, it's not um, terribly corroded back here, which is good news. Uh, before we can get the chassis out, I have to take the the uh, big knob off the side here, the the channel selector the band selector, as well as the knobs off the front. So I'll do that right now. This one is accessible back through here. If it's switched to band, let's see, the 19 meter band. Um, let's see if I can get th that one off. Oh, it looks like an Allen screw. It is it's an Allen grub screw holding that in place. So I'll have to fish that up, fish up my Allen wrenches. Okay, it looks like it's a uh, three thirty seconds. Nope, smaller than that. There it is. Five sixty fourths. And there's our first knob off. This thing picks up a lot of bands. Okay. Now I'll turn it over and we can pull the knobs off the front.
first I'm going to turn it this way and give it a shake. Yeah, I think I'm right. This isn't this isn't mouse stuff. This is just blown in sawdust from a wood mill kind of operation. Let me get a brush. Brush that out. Okay, there are five screws that hold the chassis in. We haven't taken the knobs off first. I believe these all just are, yes, pressure fit on there. The small ones all seem the same. No, they aren't. I have to keep this in mind. Um, it's a red indicator and a black indicator on these guys. Black dot, red dot, another black dot. Finally, the volume on off, which has a black dot as well. Okay, and then this one. The uh, tuning selector, by the way, the strings are intact, so that's good news. The tuning string. All right. Now, according to the manual, we should be able to, well, let me double check the list, what has to come off. Yeah, these four, four knobs and this one. We already got the band selector out. So there will be five screws that we need to, that need to be removed. And um, they are one there, one there, one there, and that bracket comes out. And there are two more back in here, one here, and one back in here um, that all need to be removed. So I'll do that. I'm scanning as I'm doing this. Not, I'm not seeing any uh, missing transistors so far, which is good.
these two over on this side. I need to be using the magnetic screwdriver for that because I don't want them to fall down in there when they come loose. I've had this Magna product screwdriver since the 70s. Incredible. I've lost most everything else, one move or another, but managed to hang on to this. There's one. And and the barrel of this is too big to fit in there. Too bad. See if I can fish it out over there with a hemostat. Without dropping it. There it is. All right. Now in theory, this should slide out the back. He said, hopefully. like this. Something else. Huh, I don't see anything hanging up, but it feels like there's something right there. Uh, maybe it was that. Hmm. Speaker wires need to be taken off. Actually, those weren't the speaker wires. This went to the map reading light. These are the speaker wires. Right there. So there's a speaker looks oop unless i damage it right now it looks undamaged good news more of that um, wood shop stuff floating around in there but i'll set this aside <clears throat> and here is the chassis Now, as I recall, I looked at uh, Miguel's video some months back, and as I recall, most of some of the capacitors are really easy to get to. Others, uh, like ones that are in this housing, are darn difficult. And as it might be that he chose not to try, I can't recall for sure. I may choose not to try too. Um, but overall, it's not bad. It's pretty, pretty shiny in there. It doesn't look like it's had any work done on it at first glance. This is a mess. I would hate to have to do anything with that. And around here, uh, some electrolytics down in here. Well, that's right. This needs to be removed to get at some of those. And I think it looked like it was on his videos pretty straightforward. We'll see. I also wanted to look at the wrinkled 
material. I wonder why that's wrinkled like that. Let me manually turn this band switch. Yeah, I don't know whether that's sun damage or what, but it's it's just it looks like it's heat damaged. Looks like it got hot and and sagged. The rest of it is just fine. That isn't fine. I'll have to see if anybody makes a replacement for that. I don't know. It looks like it's. Well, I'll find out. I'll find out. Okay, this side looks pretty good too. It should be, given the longevity of uh, transistors. I haven't seen that form factor in a long time. They're all in there. Um, we stand a fair chance of this working once the caps are replaced. I guess we stand a chance of it working even before the caps are replaced, but I, I know I'm going to replace them anyway, so why bother turning it on to see if it works? Uh, they're going to get replaced. Oh, that's it's supposed to be spring actuated switch, and it's er, sprung. So it's sprung in one way, sticks in the other way. Well, okay. I think that's it. We've seen the inside. We've discovered what we think, well, I think I know what that mystery material is. Um, I now need to go on a search for this dial plate, dial sheet, dial whatever it is. Uh, I'll do that and then I'll start replacing these capacitors and I won't make you watch me do that because it's ridiculous. If uh, I'll get a look up under here and see. See if there's anything I need to touch up in there other than this dirty switch which I can get out with some cleaner from right here. I don't know, maybe it's not as bad as it looked in originally. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. I'll see you next time. Take care. Be safe.